Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over a 2023 BMW 430 convertible that we have here in mineral white with a Tacora red Vernasca leather interior. The M Sport package makes this car look absolutely stunning and really uh, classes up the whole entire look of the, this 430. This car only has 893 miles on it, and it is actually in really good condition. And the reason I'm doing the video for today is because you've also got ceramic tinted windows, which is a very nice plus uh, whenever you're looking for a high-end car because ceramic windows actually block out a lot more uh, sunlight than a lot of other vehicles do. But what I was saying is that I do a lot of videos on high-end uh, M5s, M3s, M4s, and I haven't done a lot of videos on a regular 430. And these are really, really good cars. They have 258 horsepower from a turbocharged uh, four-cylinder called the B46, which is a very, very reliable engine. And uh, this car I just legitimately thought was a really good deal. Uh, we have had it on our lot here for only a couple of days now. Um, this is the price here on it. It's got uh, 870 miles on it. It's got warranty out until 1024 of 2026. But the nice thing about this car is you don't have any kind of wait for it. You can get it right now and without having to wait 120 days. And basically it's equipped exactly how you'd like to equip a 430. Got the convertible and what's really nice is BMW, while they have gone away from the uh, hard top, this is actually a triple insulated uh, soft top. So I'm going to open this up for you. There we go. You got to press down, not pull up in order to do the top. But what I wanted to show you is we're not going to do top down rides, but you can actually see this is like a sandwich of three different layers of different kind of stuff. There is a layer of carbon fiber, a layer of aluminum, and then another layer of carbon fiber on this top, which is really, really nice if you're trying to uh, specify for any kind of road noise isolation or anything like that. And you can actually put the top up and down up to 30 miles an hour uh, on this car while you're driving it, which is really cool. And it results in a much quieter sounding cabin than our old school hardtop. It actually looks really good. And um, it's just really interesting technology what BMW was able to come up with. And the nice thing about that is that it folds up in a much smaller area. Uh, with the 430 convertibles, you have this rear trunk partition here, so you can move that up and down. And with the hard tops, you had a lot more moving parts, therefore a lot more issues, and you couldn't put it down going 30 miles an hour like you can now. You still have a trunk pass through, um, but you have your little windscreen in the back there. Your windscreen you'd use whenever you're trying to use the convertible at night or anything along those lines and not feel like you're getting your head buffeted like crazy. Uh, the rear seats fold, like I was mentioning, you got your little pass-through. You'd take out this bag, which is your windscreen, and then you'd install it in the subsequent coals back here in the rear uh, rear cabin area. I'm 5'8", um, so I sit really close to the front of the vehicle, but you still got a good amount of leg room. Even if you were to move back, if you were, say, six foot, you'd still be able to sit a normal-sized adult in the back seat for, you know, shorter trips. Um, not, it's not going to be anything you'd want to be stuck in, but for, like, a weekend car in Florida or... Uh, or just a nice, comfortable daily driver with a cool little, uh, a cool little, um, you know, soft top and plenty of power and all that kind of cool stuff. This is a really, really great uh, option if you're you're in the market for that. In the back of the seats, uh, this car is equipped pretty, pretty well, as I would say. Hence the reason for the sixty-three thousand dollar price point. Um, but you've got your neck warmers here in the back, which are going to keep you nice and warm even on very cold days. You've also got heated seats. So I've driven to work with these on days that were literally 29 degrees outside, and I was able to just drive without having to worry about it. You also have the SenseTech dashboard option on this car. Uh, it's a $300 option that's kind of rare, but it does look really good and classes up the interior of the vehicle. Um, you've got iDrive 7, which is Apple CarPlay supported, and uh, you've also got the big chunky M Sport steering wheel with your heated steering wheel button right down here in the center of the uh, in the center of the wheel, so that you can find it. As far as horsepower, I know I already mentioned it, but you've got 258 horsepower coming from a very reliable turbocharged four-cylinder. Tons of pep, tons of torque. The car is great. It's very smooth. How about we just take it out for a quick spin? We've got a 53 degree day out, so I really should have the top down. But uh, unfortunately, uh, due to wind noise, I'm not going to be able to do that. Here, a little bit of the blow off from the turbos while you're going through the uh, through the gears, accelerating and that kind of stuff. Car handles very, very flat and very comfortably. And then you've got a lot of safety equipment inside of this car too. 
the 430 convertible was one of the first, not 430, the G chassis, which is what this is considered under BMW designation, was one of the first cars to actually start, um, you know, really taking into account like safety features and that sort of thing, um, lane departure warning, um, crash intervention, and that was where BMW really started stepping up. Is I mean, you could get it in 2016, 2017, but the technology has just come so far in such a short amount of time that I feel so much safer driving one of these new vehicles rather than one of the older ones just because of how much they really do look out for you while you're driving. Turning super easy, uh, trunk as far as that's concerned, you can fit about two sets of golf clubs there in the back if you don't put the top down. Another acceleration for you. With the top up, nice and quiet, 877 miles, so there's really not going to be anything going on with the car, um, but it's a, it's a really... Uh, it's a really, really neat spec. Um, I will put a link to the vehicle in the description below going over with uh, attached links on our website to the Carfax and also to the full MSRP build sheet and all that kind of stuff on the vehicle. You'll be able to find that on our website, bmwcincinnatinorth.com. Um, I'm a client advisor there, but these videos are really to educate, not to sell you on anything. It's just to educate you, tell you what you, tell you, what you can and can't find and get and that sort of thing. Um, and then, you know, there's just, it's just cool. You've also got, just like any other BMW, you do have um, the automatic windshield wipers. They're able to just sense the rain and be able to kick on and off for whenever you need them. Throw it in reverse. And the back of camera has the built-in lines to tell you kind of where and when you need to turn to align the vehicle. These cars are super easy to park just because they're not too big. And it's got the electronic assisted power steering, which doesn't feel too numb, but it is, um, and it's it's pretty easy just to throw around wherever you need it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that uh, in about the vehicle or have questions for me or interested in it, please just leave a comment down below and I would be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Again, this is the Takora Red interior with the mineral white outside with the M Sport package, the upgraded 19-inch wheels, and the red brake calipers. You've also got the extended shadow line package on the outside of the car, which gets you your black mirror caps instead of the color matched. And then you also get these really, really neat headlights that uh, are a little bit more aggressive because of the M Sport package. And then also the premium package gets you the upgraded lights and that sort of thing. And then instead of this being silver, it's going to be black around the edges here. You've also got a black kidney grill that's really really aggressive and really cool looking. The headlights are only flickering because of the um, the refresh rate on the camera is syncing up with how the, uh, the lights are shining. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did like it, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching One Take Car Reviews. This is Caleb Drury, and I'm out.